Hi, welcome back to the Independent Science News YouTube channel. My name is Jonathan Latham, and this week we're going to do a book review. So, uh, the book I chose to review is this one. It's called The Doctrine of DNA, and the subtitle is Biology is Ideology, and it's by Richard Lewontin, who is a professor at Harvard University. So, this is a fantastic book. And uh, I reckon it's extremely short. It's only 200 or so pages. It is uh, is labeled the most subversive book of 1997. And, uh, you know, and it's interesting to think why a book about science should be subversive. But what he is doing, what Richard Lawson is doing, is showing the fallibility of scientists in the face of ideological pressures. That all scientists have ideologies and that they bring those to the lab, they bring those to their writing, they bring those to the scientific literature. And so what he's showing is how that plays out in the real world. It's contradictory to the uh, perception that scientists like to give that scientists are objective, right? The science is objective and that scientists are objective. And, uh, you know, the, the power of science is to a large extent built on that myth of objectivity. If we understood, and if policymakers understood, members of the public understood that science was not truly objective, then there would be, uh, you know, we would think about the science that we're offered and the science that's discussed in the media and so on and so forth in a completely different way. So this is the, the subtlety and the, the subversiveness, if you like, of this book. And, you know, unfortunately, what you know, this book is not as widely read as, as it ought to be, but this is a really tremendous read that anybody, you know, high school students can get a tremendous amount of this, uh, out of this book. This is one of the very few scientists who is firstly a really good scientist, you know, famous in their field, but also has, uh, you know, really thought hard about the philosophy and the sociology of science. And so that is an incredibly valuable thing to have done. And uh, this, this book grew out of a lecture series, so it's extremely concise, and it's extremely easy to read, and it's extremely well written, and uh, it's overall a fantastic book, and uh, there aren't enough stars in the standard vocabulary to, to, to give away to this, but five stars and, and more so. So, um, so, you know, we really recommend this book as a primer for people interested in science.